Today we're going to be doing a strength to weight ratio, uh, or more or less we're going to be breaking something and then measuring the strength to weight ratio. And this is going to be a lightweight concrete mixed design that is six parts vermiculite to one part Portland cement. <laughs> this is going to be a lightweight concrete mixed design that is six parts vermiculite to one part Portland cement. And in particular, this mix was a dry mix, and that matters because that affects consolidation. It's harder to consolidate a dry mix than it is to consolidate a wet mix. However, when you overhydrate a concrete mix of any kind, you compromise the strength. You don't want to use too much water. So it will be interesting to see where this falls in, in terms of the strength to weight ratio. I can't wait to get started. We have a control group up here, three parts sand to one part cement. So basically like full strength mortar, full strength concrete, and it's pretty heavy, 26 pounds for something that you see here, which is again, a 28 inch span. And the piece we're working with is one inch thick. So the control group is a strength to weight ratio of 3.61. Basically it weighs 26 pounds. It was able to hold 94 pounds before it broke. This isn't going to hold anywhere near to 94 pounds because there is no reinforcement. There's no steel or anything like that in here. This is just six parts vermiculite to one part cement mixed together to a drier consistency and then traveled into my, my brick mold here. So let's go ahead and break this thing and see how much weight it's able to take. Actually, I guess first we, we got to weigh this thing. Uh, I'm not sure if it weighs enough to weigh on this scale. We'll give it a try here. See how this goes. Uh, there's an angle to it. It doesn't want to stand up on its own, so I'll have to just try to... 9.5 pounds. Let's go ahead and do it again. I mean, it says 9.5 again. I think we're probably pretty safe to take 9.5 as our number. Well, I mean, it's a lot lighter, first of all. It's like a third of the weight, basically. So at a third of the weight, a third of the strength would be, you know, like 30 pounds, 31 pounds. I don't think this is going to hold 31 pounds before it breaks. I'm going to... These blocks will help this too. There's lots of room here. So it's not going to support it in any way. Uh, but it will help it to stop the bucket from falling out when this breaks. Because we're definitely going to break it. I say we get started here. Okay, step one. The bucket weighs two pounds. So let's just make sure that this thing can handle that. I'm sure it can. There we go. This is a fully cured. It's over a month old now. So it's at its full strength. I have a center mark here. So I'm just trying to make sure that I give it an even weight distribution to whatever extent I can. Now this will be a little bit uh, difficult. I have to scoop in the, the sand. And I want to be careful to not let it like bang in there because the, the, the force of that is the different kind of load measurements and I want to just as carefully as I can kind of put this in without causing that to happen but I don't know let's throw out a guess here maybe you can try to guess as well it weighs it weighs just under 10 pounds geez will it even take 10 pounds before it breaks it feels so light in my hands and the span is so large I mean you would never actually span something like ever with one inch thick lightweight concrete with no reinforcement at all. It really is just a test made to be broken, but hopefully we can learn something about mixed design here. I'm going to get started and I don't know, I guess maybe my goal is I hope it, I hope it holds 10 pounds and uh, maybe it'll hold more. I don't know.
definitely more than 10 pounds, I'd say. I feel like it's going to break any time. I'm kind of surprised it's taken this much weight already. There it goes. There it goes. Perfect. Excellent. So it broke two inches off center. Uh, interesting. That's always interesting to know where it breaks. My load's pretty evenly distributed in there. Uh, that's for sure. The control group one broke almost dead center. So I consider that to be a good sign. And I consider this to be a good sign too, because it could have broken on either end here. I mean, it's up to here. I'm going to weigh it here, but surely more than 10 pounds, surely more. Uh, let's go ahead and see what we got. The old trusty scale out here. Definitely more than 10 pounds. Twenty nine and a half pounds. Well, geez, I was hoping it would get to 10, like I, definitely 10 wasn't a problem. Okay, so 29.5 divided by 9.5. take a look at that as you can see we've got a pretty tight consolidation there like there's no obvious fault line or pocket or anything like that so I feel like it's a pretty valid test that's actually I, I'm impressed for a for what I have labeled here is a very dry dry mix that's just manual consolidation with a trowel that I managed to achieve that and I think that looks pretty good, honestly. And that I'm shocked. Like, I mean, maybe I shouldn't be that shocked, but I kind of am because like I was expecting it to be so much less than that. It just feels so weak in the hand, you know, so lightweight, but you know, vermiculite is definitely one of the better lightweight concrete aggregates. And I attribute that to the fact that it's just, it's so absorbent. It's, it's like making concrete out of sponges. So it absorbs that, that cement and water mixture so readily that the, it, it, the, it locks together so deeply into the aggregate. Like with a piece of sand, the cement might penetrate somewhat on the molecular level, but I suspect it's mostly at the surface level. Whereas something like the, uh, the, the vermiculite just absorbs it immediately right to its core. And maybe that's why it's, it turns out to be such a tight consolidation and a relatively strong product versus its weight. And again, I didn't make this for strength. If I wanted this to be stronger, six to one vermiculite, probably not what I would do. Three to one. I will be interested to see what something more like a three to one mix is able to hold. If this was able to hold over three times its, its own weight, uh, strength by weight, I would be impressed to see what a, a, a higher ratio of Portland cement can result in. Uh, so why don't we clean this up and uh, we'll get started with another one.